Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Saucy here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can record your Valorant gameplay. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, one more thing before the video starts. I just want to let you guys know I'm actually doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one Saucy shirt. I'm going to put a picture right there for you guys. All you have to do to enter is you have to subscribe, you have to like the video, and you have to comment down below your Snapchat or Instagram tag. I'll be choosing the winners in two weeks. So yeah, make sure to tune in all my videos. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so I'm on my computer now and the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click the link down in the description below. It'll take you to this page right here. This is the screen recorder that we'll be using to record our gameplay. So this is actually called OBS Studio or Open Broadcaster Software. And this is used by many professionals, many streamers out there. Um, pretty much everyone you could think of uses this. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So um, it depends on what you have. If you have a Mac OS, you're gonna wanna click Mac OS. If you have a Windows, you're gonna wanna click Windows, right? Since I have Windows, I'm gonna install Windows, but since I already have it installed, I'm not gonna do it. But for you guys, all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click Windows, okay? So once you guys have that installed, you're gonna wanna open it up and it should be like in your uh, on your desktop if you don't have it you can just search it up on here obs studio and you just open that up all right so you're gonna want to open this up okay and when you open it up you'll uh see this right but you actually won't see this because i'm actually recording the, this video using this software but it'll look empty to you okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to add a scene okay you might already have a scene added but if you don't you just want to press the plus button and then press okay okay what that'll do it'll add a scene okay but once you guys have this scene added the next thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to open your valorant game so you're going to want to open this because this is what we're going to be recording okay so i'm going to open it up and i'll be right back when it's opened all right guys so when you have your valorant open the next thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your uh, screen recorder okay uh, obs and the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press the plus button on sources because you want to add a source, okay? So when you press this, you're going to want to head over to the game capture and then press that. Alright, so once you're on the game capture, all you're going to want to do is you don't want to change anything, you're just going to press OK, okay? Now that I'm on this screen, the thing that we're going to want to change is the mode, okay? We're going to want to change the mode to capture a specific window, okay? And when we click that, it's going to bring up this Windows uh, tab. And we're actually going to want to click this. And then we're going to want to press Valorant, okay? Because we want to record our Valorant gameplay. After you do that, all you have to press is OK. Now that we have our game capture set up, I'm going to show you how you can um, change your settings. So if you want to make your video high quality or your frame rate, if you want to change anything of that, just all you got to do is go to your settings. All right, so the first setting that we're going to change is your output, okay? So we're going to head over to the output and... We're gonna to want to change your recording path or if you already have one set and you're fine with that then that's fine too but i wanted to change mine to my videos so i press browse and i changed it to my videos and then the recording format you're gonna to want to put that to mp4 the recording quality i put mine to medium file size because i don't want anything too big although it might be a medium file size it still is high quality and for the hardware i put nvenc you guys can copy this uh, exact same settings that I have. All you have to do is just pause the video. You can just copy everything I have. And for the, you don't have to change anything for the streaming because this is not for streaming, it's for recording. All right, so when you guys are done with your output, you just want to go to your video settings, okay? So uh, because I want my videos to be 1080p, I have to record it, or you guys are going to have to actually record it 1920 by 1080, your uh, base resolution and your output resolution. So that's what I did. And for your downscale filter, you guys can just copy the same one I have by cubic sharpen scaling 16 samples. That works fine for me. And you're, you're going to want to change your FPS to 60 because... Uh, you know you want your video and your gameplay to be smooth so your common fps value should be around 60 okay and for what i did uh was i actually set my hotkeys uh to f10 to start the recording and f12 to stop it so every time i press f10 it'll start it when i press f12 it'll stop okay you don't really have to change anything in the advanced part but that's all you're going to really do for the settings um but yeah if you guys want to record your video what you're going to want to do is you want to actually head over to your game uh, as you guys can see i have my valorant game over here um but yeah so once you're in your valorant game all you want to do is you want to press your hotkey that you set to start the recording all right so in my case it'll be f10 so i'm not going to press f10 right now because i already have i'm already recording this video with the software so i don't want to mess up anything but yeah that's all you really have to do okay and um 
so i'm gonna turn off my game capture right there but yeah that's really all you have to do um if you don't want to turn it on by pressing a button you can just head over to your screen recorder and just press start recording as you guys can see over here and stop it but yeah that's really it that's it's, it's that simple if you guys have any questions or concerns i'm pretty sure i skipped over multiple things but if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please write it down in the comments down below i will try my best to answer every one of your comments all right guys and before i leave just i want to remind you that i'm actually doing a giveaway like i told you earlier on in the video but yeah all you have to do to enter is subscribe like the video and comment down below your instagram or snapchat tag but without further ado i'm gonna leave so anyways guys peace out